how to clean this the easy way. So everybody uses a ton of brake cleaner on these things and uh, they're not so good for your health. So we're going to show you a better way to clean the insides of this diff. Make it new again. So I use an ultrasonic cleaner. This one is one from 6 liters. You have smaller ones and bigger ones. I find this thing more than adequate enough. I don't throw it in there like this. I'll show you how I do it's it. It's the easiest way to keep the inside clean and make this clean too. This is how it looks inside. There's a net inside. I filled it with tap water. It's a little dirty, but that's it not makes an horrendous sound. Everybody knows how to open a diff. Don't throw it in like this. No, we're going to put it in a jar. You can use plastic containers or you can even use glass containers. And you can put solvent in there so it doesn't con contaminate the complete ultrasonic cleaner. So the dirt stays in here and the waves go through the plastic or the glass. So it doesn't matter. What do you use to clean? The Kapoor R33. There are several jars in there. I use this for cleaning uh, carburetors and stuff, but it also works for this. But this is kind of expensive. So degrees so that works too but it has to take a little longer in there to get it to work and the other stuff is a little more aggressive this is petrol you can use that too this works pretty good i'll show you how it works with this one i don't recommend putting good bearings in there because then you have to open them up and grease them or put some oil in there if you want a reviver bearing it can be useful wipe off the excess of course don't let that sit in there use some towel paper towels to get it as clean as possible i put it in this jar you don't have to fill it all the way up you can do it half with petrol and half with water just regular tap water that's also good and it doesn't have to be completely filled close it up real good it's set on five minutes i'm going to mute the sound here you can clearly see how the ultrasonic waves have an effect on the petrol five minutes later even the petrol leaked through the seam. See how dirty it's become. I don't know if you can see it now. It was only five minutes. I didn't put the heat on, so let's check it out. Remember when you do this, use old towels. Spotless. There's a little inside there still, see? But it was only for five minutes and if it's not good enough, you can still put it back. I'm going to put another five minutes on there. Second time. There's still some inside, but not much. Sometimes you have to repeat the process a couple of times because grease in some cases is very, very hard to remove. In the meanwhile, that when that was cooking, I opened the div and put everything in there. So I'm going to put this one in there. Also, when you do this, try to ventilate something because petrol, it stings. Uh, you can see how dirty it is the best thing to use is glass containers they close up better than the plastic ones your water gets dirty quicker and you can see how dirty it is and also i don't know if you can see it on the camera but you can see also how clean it is don't throw in uh, o-rings and stuff they swell up to get everything out the quick way you can use a magnet and always check if there's nothing in there before you throw it away. You can use it a couple of times. So you can do your complete car with one bottle of this. It's all nice and clean. You can rinse it off if you want to. And now it's time for rebuild. 